Just imagine having an amusement park of sorts in your own yard. One Southern Indiana man's on his way to something very similar. News 10's Matt Gregory shares his story in this afternoon's edition of Matt's Moments. Driving across Indiana, you see all sorts of roadside sites, but there's one that's piqued my curiosity for several years now. So I wanted to take a moment and share that roadside amusement with you. Hit the road and just outside of Vincennes, off Route 41, you'll see it. Like a mirage in the desert, you might not believe your eyes. That is a roller coaster. The first thing you hear when you meet John Ivers is that he doesn't just like roller coasters. I, I love roller coasters and uh, never got to ride them too much. What better way to solve that problem than build your own? Since there's no store that sells roller coaster tracks, he started where he worked. Most of the stuff was right there in the shop, and I could just kind of, well, look at that. Yeah, I could use those, and I could use some of this, you know. John isn't a roller coaster engineer, but after almost two years of trial and error, you get this. A 20-foot tall climb with a G4 splitting drop that cascades into a gravity pulling loop and comes home all over in a matter of seconds. He calls it the blue flash. To be able to make it work and it actually come out working better than I ever thought it would. Well, after I built the blue flash, I realized my grandkids were just toddlers and couldn't ride this. It's pretty much an adult ride. So I had to build another coaster that they could ride. And from that came Blue 2, a roller coaster built for kids, but even John could enjoy. And actually took my time and done a better job on that one than I did this one. While he enjoys the thrilling twists and turns, the real story of John Ivers and his coasters might be something else they've given to him. Go, Most folks travel around the world to meet new people, but the Blue Flash and Blue 2 have brought the world to John. We've met so many people because of it, which, you know, I never thought about all that in the beginning. I, I didn't build it for that. You know, it was just uh, something unique to have fun on for the kids and grandkids, and uh, it's turned out to really uh, be something special. Maybe next time you're headed down Highway 41 looking for some amusement, you'll stop by and ride the Blue Flash or maybe even Blue 2. Reporting on Highway 41 with photojournalist Gary Bryant, I'm Matt Gregory, News 10.